What's going on traders? This is Mike with Tactical Traders. Doing some weekend scans, just looking for some stocks to keep an eye on in the upcoming week or so. And right now I am looking at ticker symbol ALRN. And I have the daily chart pulled up over the past year of history. And uh, before I get into this, I just want to say this is a penny stock. So please use extreme caution when trading this. And for this penny stock, actually, um, I actually don't mind. I usually do not trade penny stocks, especially on a daily chart. I never really look at those. Usually they're penny stocks, so they're quick movers. They're quick and aggressive to take profits. However, this one did catch my eye for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons was that the increase of volume over the past couple of months, last uh, four or five months, has definitely been uh, noticeable. And so there's a lot of eyes on this ticker. Also, it has had a nice bullish movement up. And the most important thing about this bullish movement up is that the price has not given up the gains. Um, a lot of times with penny stocks, you'll see big sp uh, spikes and then going right back down to where they started, showing me no strength at all and just really not hanging on to any of the gains. However, this one is trading above the 50 SMA, the 200 SMA overall, and uh, has been keeping these levels of support. And as you can see, we have a uh, level of support here, then here. As well as right here, and interesting about this level right here um, is that this is an area of resistance, so it actually back tested it and bounced off of it. So really like that too. Then this new uh, area of support here, and we can even kind of say that this was an area of support for quite some time. However, on Friday's price action, the price did fall below the 50 SMA, and uh, you know it is probably going to revisit that 110 area. So anyways, without that being said, the areas of resistance we're going to be looking at also are going to be right about here. Uh, we'll call it 14, uh, I, want, I mean, sorry, 145 right there for an area of resistance. So the 50 SMA looks like it was acting as support for quite some time. Uh, and now we have the price falling below that. So we're looking at the 110 area. So if you're looking to trade this, look to see if 110 is can hold uh, we're going to look for any sign of a reversal, a bullish reversal candle. And that, to me, is a uh, profitable, I mean, a logical area to start building a long position for a swing trade, actually. So I usually never recommend swing trading pennies. However, this one doesn't move too, too crazy. It's been holding on to its gains. And I think there could be a, a decent swing trade setup here. So we'll be looking for the 110 uh, area to $1 area to start loading uh, for a long position. Uh, and expect the first area of resistance after that uh, to be right around that 140 area where you can take off a quarter, a third, maybe half of your position size and let the rest run for future gains. Um, we're just going to really make sure this price wants to stay above this area. If it does stay uh, fall below this, we're going to be looking obviously around the 90 cent area. Uh, 90 cents is definitely going to be, um, should be a very strong area of support because it was back tested before as well as this 200 SMA. Uh, being brought up and that can act as support as well. So definitely keep your eye on this ticker over the couple next couple of weeks uh, and days. Um, and like I said, if the 110 to $1 area shows um, building along would not be out of the question in my opinion. All right, traders, well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, if you want to get into the chat room with us and get these live alerts uh, daily and in real time, check out our uh, website, tacticaltraders.com, where you can get a free 30-day trial. Thank you for watching traders and until next time, stay profitable.